Do you care? Okay. Right there. This is the Temesticus Forestilius, about 50 million years ago, roaming the plains of Africa. He's looking for food so he can survive. The small population primarily is eating the food that's up in the trees because of the competition with the rhinos and the elephants on the plains. The majority of the population is about five feet tall and are becoming unable to reach the food high up in the treetops. However, a small part of their population has developed a genetic mutation that makes them taller so that they can get the food. Natural select. Millions of years later, the Temesticus forestilius evolved into a taller Tomolophagus species. The majority of the population lived near an active volcano. However, there were some animals in this species that were far more intellectual and knew to stay away from the volcano. When the volcano erupted, it killed off all of the dumb of the population. So now the Tomolophagus gene pool is much smaller and much smarter. This phenomenon is called genetic. After another few million years, the Tomolophagus, at this time called the animal, had developed a consistently larger brain cavity for increased mental capacity. A severe drought killed their vegetation and with their newfound intelligence had to migrate through the desert to find a new home, which is now on the European plains. The weak ones die off and only the strong can make it through. migration to Europe, taking about a thousand years, the animal had many new problems. They had plenty of food, but they had to watch out for the tackling predator. The slower ones here were eaten, but the faster ones could, e could escape easier. It's very amazing that the animal evolved from such a primitive species like the Temesticus forestilius. Downing is going from the Temesticus forestilius to the Tomolophagus. And then from the Tomolophagus er, to the animal. And then to the supreme animal, we can only wonder what's next.